Welcome back to Gelato Sunday. You know it's going to be a good one this week because I've got some new swag on. So let's take a look at some automation tasks. We've seen a couple of Oracle updating tasks making use of Gelato, but here we have one that's being used in a little bit different way. This is a pair Oracle, so something that could be used with like a swapping protocol. We've got two tokens and two variables in each pair, price zero cumulative last and price one cumulative last. Those are storing the prices of the two tokens multiplied by a length of time in seconds. So the cumulative nature means that they are ever increasing. In the update function then, this is where it's automatically updating these accumulated price values. So they're making sure that a required amount of time has passed since the last update, and then they're calculating price averages for these tokens. Tokens. You'll see they noted that those cumulative price variables are UQ112 by 112, which just means that the result is a fixed point number with 112 bits on either side of the number. So they're dividing by the time elapsed and then wrapping it. And this basically creates a time weighted average price for that period. And then it's resetting the variables for the last calculated cumulative price so we can do it all over again. A little mathy, but pretty interesting calculation stuff in this contract. And it's really cool that this is happening on gelato network this one here is a withdraw task and they're actually doing this in bulk if we look at the contract you can see that there's quite a bit of comments in this code and it kind of explains what's going on so they have a bunch of logic to handle different scenarios so if there's no withdrawal request they're going to go ahead and just claim or stake funds but it tells us up here that they're actually storing withdrawal requests and then withdrawing the full amount for everybody all at once every five hours and 30 minutes so they're able to automate that with gelato and be more efficient by handling this withdrawal in bulk Next, we're going to look at something from AVAX Fish Farm. This is a protocol that allows you to hire fishers and earn rewards. And it's a fairly common pattern in the GameFi space right now where you have to do some kind of action every few hours or something. People are starting to take the opportunity to try and automate some of these more repetitive or tedious types of mechanics. So with this task, it's called Rehire Fishers. And if we look at the contract and follow the path up to the Handle Hire function, we can see what the goal is here. It's essentially rewards compounding. But this task is actually not working because of the way that the fish farm smart contracts are designed. It's basically forcing user interaction here because message.sender has to rehire fishers. So if a protocol has users who want to automate these kinds of tasks, all they need to do is make some small changes in their smart contracts to enable this. And it's a pretty perfect use case for Gelato. We also have a couple of automated distributing tasks. They're both pretty straightforward automation tasks, but doing a slightly different check from one another. The first one is from the investing platform Sphere Finance. They're just basing the distribution off of a time interval, which we can see in the task is a fairly long interval compared to some of the other ones that we've looked at so far. The second one is from Scream, which is a decentralized lending protocol built on Phantom. They're doing a rewards distribution, and here they're doing a gas price check before the distribution. Distribution. And we can also see in the task that this one is using a resolver function. So it's going to have the payload with data that's needed to execute this. That's all for this week. As always, thanks for watching Gelato Sunday, and we'll see you next time.